Hello and welcome to Joe's Barbecue House. Today we're going to be doing some smoked cheese. And here we're going to be using white cheddar, hot habanero, garlic cheddar cheese, pepper jack cheese, sriracha, and hot habanero. And here we're going to be using the amazing smoker maze, which is just a basket that you fill with pellets. And here's one pound of Traeger's apple pellets, which we won't even be using half of it. Now all you want to do is grab yourself a cooling rack and lay your cheese out with a bunch of toothpicks here, which is going to organize what cheese is which when you open it out of the package. So on a piece of paper, just go ahead and mark which ones are which. And I left that one blank because it's the biggest block of cheese and it's pretty obvious. All right, so once you get your pellets started, just go ahead and place them in the bottom section of your WSM. The current outdoor temperatures is 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And here, you don't want to build any heat, you just want smoke. Also keep in mind that you don't need all these racks to do this cold smoke method that I'm doing with this cheese. And if you're using your stock Weber Smoky Mountain, just use the top rack and do exactly what I'm doing here. Now once you get your pit put back together, be sure to have all your vents wide open. Once you start seeing some smoke coming out of your top vents, go ahead and take the cooling rack and place the cheese right on the top. Now go ahead and place your lid on the top and be sure that all your vents are wide open. Now you want to go ahead and set a timer for four hours. Here I'd like to give you guys a close up of what it looks like before I set the timer. Here's the current temperatures, which as you can see dropped two degrees. All right, well here you'll see we have a nice amount of smoke rolling through these vents. That's why I keep them wide open. All right, well we're four hours in and they look the same. I don't know how they're gonna turn out because this is my first time cold smoking cheese. But I'm pretty sure with all the research I've done, these things should turn out great. Now the next time I smoke cheese, I'm gonna flip these halfway during the smoke. Here I'm gonna show you how many pellets we burnt. And as you can see, that we only burnt one row which is pretty impressive because the Amazing Smoker Maze claims 12 hours on a single fill. All right, let's go ahead and get this cheese vacuum sealed, labeled, and put in the refrigerator, and we are gonna wait four weeks before we open it. Now be sure to vacuum seal one at a time and also label them accordingly. All right, we are now four weeks into this resting period. And as you can see, there's been a light change in color, a little bit darker on the one edge there that you see. And I believe if I would have flipped them within the two hours, it would have been more of an even discoloration there, I guess you'd say. So let's go ahead and move forward and get a taste test. Here's a knife that I ordered. It was a company off of Instagram called My Chef Knives. And you can visit their website at www.myshefknife.com. Just a little note for those of you that have never smoked cheese before. Don't buy a lot of cheese at one time when you go to do it. Practice with one brick because you never know how it's going to turn out. I had confidence that it was going to turn out perfect and it absolutely did. Everybody loves it. And I can't wait for my wife to make her homemade macaroni and cheese using this smoked cheese in her recipe just a little spoiler alert she did make macaroni and cheese using the garlic cheddar and i'm telling you right now it turned out amazing she just did it over the stovetop using this cheese and believe it or not it tasted just like smoked macaroni and cheese here we got the pepper jack and the white cheddar gonna go ahead and sample this and see how it turned out and I'm here to tell you, it's a light smoke, doesn't take away any flavor from the cheese, and it is just absolutely amazing. I can't believe how well it turned out for my first try. I think the next time I do this, I'm going to smoke it for an extra hour to get a little bit more of that smoke flavor infused into this cheese. Well, that's all I have for you today, so if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. Also, comment below on how you would have done this smoke differently.